Hello and happy, 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 happy October. <sighs> Welcome back. In this month's edition of your energy forecast, courtesy of the gang and Mary Magdalene, hosted by yours truly, Christine Alexandria, the founder of Angel Chatter. Let's get a little serious for a bit. This month, we're stepping officially into that last quarter of 2023. And if you may remember, this has been called the year of healing. And let me tell you, they are not kidding. And it's going to continue to go out with the bang. And you're hearing it here first, darlings. 2024 is has already been titled the year of harmony, thanks to the angels. However, does not mean it's going to be all fluff and nonsense. If you're ignoring the shifts that are being presented, if you're ignoring the nudges to come back to your truth and embrace it, next year could be a bit more difficult for you. So you're, you're getting a heads up now. If you're watching this video early in October, let me tell you right now, there's a couple of sales we are going to be running. So from now, October 1st, through the third, you can go to angelchatter.com and take 25% off all private sessions with me. It includes your one-off session, a mentoring package, possibly a private weekend. We only offer six of those a year. Angel in my pocket. So go on over there and look under services. And stay tuned because starting on October 5th, only running to the 7th, if you go to angelchatteracademy.com, you can save 35% on all the courses from the $23 itty bitty courses up to my flagship program, the BU program. On either sale, no code is needed. We're taking that extra pressure and work off of you because that leads me into the energy of October. Now is the time even more so to come back to your roots. Now's more the time to deadhead to use my gardening, one of my favorite gardening terms, getting rid of that toxic energy that can weigh you down. Sometimes it's a way you think. Sometimes it's hanging around the people that are there sharing how wonderful they are, kind of, in their passive aggressive ways, which contribute to perhaps you feeling inferior or questioning or doubting your own power. No more of that. Now is the time for collaboration. It's been, I love it. I've already had other leaders in their field reach out asking me to be on their podcast when it's been crickets for months, asking to help be involved in a couple of summits for next year, all online. So now is the time for just to start making these relationships. Time to put out the energy of collaboration, even if it's the collaboration with a trusted mentor teacher. Building upon that relationship that will take you further. That's what's going on for this entire month because we're leading into a full moon lunar eclipse. When? October 28th. Does it surprise you that it's happening that close to Halloween when the veil is going to be super thin to begin with? Now's the time. We're building up to this thin, thinness of the veil. We're building up to this energy shift, one more that is so much more harmonious, hopefully so much less fearful and angst-ridden. But now is this time. So set your intention. Happy October 1st. What would you like, not to, not how, we put so much pressure on what we do and how productive we are. Take a rest. Take time out for you to remember. All of that pushing ahead and trying, attempting, it's going to get you nowhere because you're going to accept <laughs> exhaustion. Now is this time to rejuvenate. We're heading into the colder months here in the Northern Hemisphere. Time for cocooning and creating these beautiful, cozy vignettes within our space. Take advantage of that slowing down energy. Nature is calming down. It's dropping its leaves. Things are going quiet, dormant, hibernation. Oh, listen to that. 
take that time. We're not designed to hibernate, but we can enter the cave, thank you, Mary Magdalene, to reflect and ponder. What would I like? How do I wish to be in the world? How can I better show up as a true reflection of me? Because the truth is going to continue to come out. And I just hope it's your truth. Not truth that you're mimicking from another's mouth. Whether it's the news, a magazine, a trusted friend, colleague, neighbor, family, doesn't matter. What is your truth? Mine? Thanks for asking. Love. It's taken me probably decades to own that without feeling like I'm this leftover hippie and just peace, love, dudes. Love. It's love. And everything I have created to this point has been done with love for you, even if I've never met you. Because my desire is to help you to inspire and empower you. That's that energy that's coming out for this month of October, this energy of collaboration. So your truth can come out. So now that I've shared with you what they have said to me privately, let's pick a few cards, shall we? Let's see what cards want to come and play. And if you're not aware, these are the very first cards I channeled, the Angel Chatter Oracle deck. 44 cards, 15 angels, all with their own angelic sigil, infused with the energy of the violet flame. So they're always clearing themselves. Thank you. Cut the deck once, pull out that card. And here we have Jophia with that message of strength. She's so cool. I see Jophia as a her. Some of you I know see him as a him or androgynous. It's all good because they're energy. Jo Fiel's, one of her mantras, her favorite sayings is, you are your most powerful when you are in your joy. Therefore, if you are working hard on something and it's feeling like drudgery and so much energy and I don't have time to do it, and you know, we start doing this whole little woe is me nonsense, walk away. There's no joy in that project anymore. And guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna take you longer and it's gonna fall flat if you're creating something to offer to the world. Step away, go take a walk in the woods, go do some forest bathing and release it. And ask them, how can I bring more joy into the project? And don't be surprised if they say, you need to go take a nap. Because Raziel then comes out with that message of spiritual souls. You're a teacher. Whether you're up in front of the classroom, you're sharing the message in this kind of format, doesn't matter. You are even teaching perfect strangers, your friends and your family on your actions and inactions. I was talking with a dear friend the other day, and it's interesting to note that it came out that a person's, I'm going to paraphrase this, a person's true personality comes out when it's under stress. Do they rant, they rave, they throw things, they yell, like scream? Do they get quiet, reflective? And do they become more methodical to find the best solution? Are they calm or are they all over the place? So what are you teaching is the question you could be asking yourself. What am I teaching? Am I teaching empowerment or am I teaching fear? Am I teaching anger? Am I teaching lies? Am I teaching follow and just follow? Don't, don't ask questions. Or am I inquiring about what is best for me? So many things you could be teaching. Last card for this deck for this month, it's Raphael with that message of forgiveness. Forgiveness also can relay to us. We've all done things that weren't very nice, right? And we can be extremely hard on ourselves, right? Right. So be gentle on yourself. Are you human? Yeah. I don't care where you come from, another galaxy, an incarnated angel, doesn't matter. Right now you're a human, therefore you have human tendencies. You do human, which means you're not perfect. You're perfectly imperfect. So be gentle on yourself. 
give yourself, it's not a get out of jail free card to go out and act mean and all that stuff, which isn't you anyway, right? But do go out and be gentle on yourself. Know that in the heart of hearts, you are doing and being the best version of yourself. Sometimes you need a bit of help and a bit of guidance, and that's why we're here. And that's okay. Just be gentle on yourself. So this next deck I am pulling out of, pulling cards from is my second and most recent deck, the Empowered Heart deck. A deck that, again, wrote itself, thank you to Mary Magdalene. And they're all messages from her. So again, she's been shuffling, cutting the card once, deck once, and coming out with, oh, this is lovely. Emotions, emotions can be expansive or constrictive. Which do you prefer? So pay attention to your emotions. How, where is your energy? Listen, don't push through it. Don't think you have to do something to make another happy. Take that time, be gentle on yourself. Your emotions, probably more than any other layer, your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual layer, your emotions are going to be a, are a very good gauge on where you are energetically. If you find yourself whining or you're rubbing your face or you're angry, emptying the dishwasher sounds like you're going to have to climb Mount Matterhorn, it's telling you you're tired. Be gentle on yourself. Pay attention. And if it's not an emotion, let's say, that you're kind of proud of, that's okay. Remember, you're human. But then reflect, why is this churning up this kind of emotion? And you can always ask the Magdalene. And if you really want to get to know the Magdalene more deeply, you can come join us in Respite, angelchatter.com. Go under services, which are on sale from October 1st to October 3rd. <laughs> and come join us in sacred community where I channel her and will perhaps answer your question within the gallery. I love this. Second card from her is perseverance. So if you have a desire to do and to how you wish to show up in the world, perhaps it's changed over the years on how you do this. At one point, I was going to be a psychiatrist, psychologist, psychiatrist, one of those two, I wasn't sure, from junior high. But then life happened. I didn't go to college. Not in that format. But yet here I am doing it now in the version that I am now, a more spiritually aware person, not necessarily following the doctrines and the academia protocols, but still trying and attempting and helping and inspiring and empowering people like you. So your mission doesn't necessarily change, but how you go about it. So just keep persevering and look at other ways that you can share your gifts. And the last card for today's and this month's, oh, thank you for this month's message. I'm going to get teary. Success. So if you, I'll hold up a bit longer. So if you wish to be a better reflection of you, more authentic, give yourself a break. Take that time to rest. Ask yourself, what are you teaching in this moment? Are you permitting yourself to basically never give up? persevering? Are you connecting more deeply with the Magdalene? Are you listening to your emotions? Are you reaching out and asking to collaborate with others? How could you better share your truth? All of these things are coming together this month. I just got chills. Did you get chills too? So listen in. Lean in. Place your hands over your heart. Feel that strength bubble up, that joy that melds with the love. That's you. So until next month, the month of November, I wish you great joy with the knowledge that you are amazing. Yep, you, you're amazing. And I'm Christine Alexandria, the founder of Angel Chatter, wishing you a wonderful day. Bye for now.